Today, I'm going to show you some of the absolute best deals in the Pokemon market. I buy and sell cards for a living, so when I see a good deal, it's tough to pass up. Some of these cards are so undervalued that you might just want to go snag some of these for yourself. You're going to want to watch this new video series called Buy It Before I Do. All right, so this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. So we're going to start off with some Sword and Shield promos. I think we're just going to kind of go over some Sword and Shield sets today. So some cards that I think are really undervalued compared to what type of card they are, the collectability factor, you know, if it's going to be reprinted or not, if there's going to be more of this card available, does it fit in a set, does it something like that? So we're going to look at these cards here and we're going to start off with the Evolution promos from those collection boxes. So they printed another box those last year. And uh, of course they got bought out. They were going for crazy amounts and the promo is actually tanked really bad. So we're going to look at these real quick. Any really all six of them are going to be a good deal to pick up because they've tanked so much from where they were. We're going to take a look at a graph here to show you exactly how much they've tanked. So if we look here at the six month graph on this Vaporeon VMAX, you can see it at right around December of 2022, this absolutely tanked and it's actually back on the rise here. So for the evolution uh, alternate arts like this, it's just with evolving skies going up as much as it is. These are going to be a great pickup. It's under $20 right now. You can pick up this Vaporeon VMAX alternate art, which is a great deal. And that goes for the same across all six of the uh, evolution promos. So definitely pick these up. All right, the next card on the list might be a little bit of a curveball. This is actually going to be the Pikachu VMAX from the Crown Zenith box. I think this card might actually be extremely undervalued here. This is the same Pikachu VMAX artwork as they had as the Koro Koro Pikachu VMAX in Japanese. We'll probably show you that here in the top here. But uh, look at the three month graph on this. I mean, it started off as like a $10 card and it's dropped all the way down to a dollar. So I don't think this card can really get any cheaper. I don't know how long it's gonna take for this card to appreciate, but I think in a couple years, this card is gonna be going for at least back up to $10. Um, if not even more, just because it's such a cool artwork, you know, the Koro Koro Pikachu V Max. Everybody loves Pikachu, the chunky boy himself. So, this one, I would probably pick this one up if you don't already have a couple copies of it. The next one on the list is going to be actually the Charizard V Max from Darkness of Blaze. I think maybe because the Charizard promos from the Ultra Premium Collection came out, there's a lot more Charizard V Maxes on the market. This one actually has come down quite a bit. So, around $30 to pick this one up. When this set first came out, this card was going for like $80, $90, $100. So, this is a really good pickup, I think, especially because Darkness of Blaze is over two years old now. So a Charizard card from that, this was kind of the chase card in the whole set. So uh, for 30 bucks, you don't have to open any more Darkness of Blaze. I think this is a definite buy. Speaking of Charizard guys, just Champion's Path is just not good. It never has been. These ETBs are going for over $100. The pull rates were not super great. If you don't pull a Charizard, then you kind of lose all your money from opening money, the ETB. There's nothing really else redeemable about this set. Uh, let's just kind of pretend this set doesn't exist. Moving on to Vivid Voltage, and we're actually not picking the Rainbow Pikachu. Now, that one's kind of a good purchase. I mean, it is cheap right now, but I think with Rainbow Rares going away, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of interest in the Rainbow Rare VMAX uh, Pikachu. So we're actually going to go with the Pikachu V Full Art. I remember on release, this card was going for like 60 or 70 bucks. It was a crazy expensive card because it was really tough to pull. And you can already see it's kind of back on the rise here on this one year graph. Kind of wish the graph went back even further to the release because it's just been declining since then. But now, People are starting to remember this card is a really cool card. I think it's definitely one of the chase cards in Vivid Voltage and people are starting to pick it back up. So it's back on the rise here. So if you don't have this card, you might want to pick this one up. This next one it could be the most undervalued card of the entire list. It's a shiny Houndoom gold card from Battle Styles. I think is maybe my favorite card from Battle Styles. I mean, I really don't understand why this card is going for $12 right now. You can see on the three month graph here. I mean, it's declining. We'll switch it over here and see. Looks like in May of 22, this was actually over $20 and just has been declining since then. This can't get any cheaper. This is a really, really nice card. A lot of Houndoom fans out there. It's a shiny Pokemon card. It's gold uh, from Battle Styles, which is not getting another reprint. So we're definitely going to look at this card for a buy. We're going to move into Evolving Skies, and this may surprise you, but I don't have any of the alternate arts on the list today. And the reason is because everyone kind of is looking at the alternate arts. Today's list is kind of defined the ones that are undervalued, the ones that are kind of getting skimmed over. People aren't really paying attention to them. So I actually think the Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow Rare is a little bit undervalued here. Well, let's take a look. And on the one year graph, it's gone from $48 all the way down to around $34, $35. You can pick this card up for right now. And with Evolving Skies being as scarce as it is, still no word of a reprint. This could be a really good one, especially if you like Rainbow Rares. I think, you know, if you're going to collect Rainbow Rares, this is definitely one of the top tier ones that you could pick up. 
So I definitely think this is a buy. I do have a couple more Evolving Skies cards on the list. Let's take a look. So I actually think some of these Evolution Full Arts are a little bit undervalued compared to the Alternate Arts, especially. Some of these have lost 30 or 40% in value in the, over the past three months. Ones like the Umbreon V, the Sylveon, the Espeon, those you can pick up for really, really good deals right now. So if you're looking to pick up some Evolutions that aren't the Alt Arts, that don't break the bank, these are definitely ones to look at. All right, now we're gonna get into celebrations. And my personal opinion is I don't think you can really go wrong with buying any of these classic collection cards they are all so cool they have that cool texture i think celebrations was a really good set and most of it is still undervalued it's always kind of been undervalued so this is a set that i think will do really well over time but i've got a couple selected here that we're going to take a look at so first up probably not surprising is the umbreon star this is a remake of one of the rarest cards to ever come out in pokemon cards history this is a remake of a pop series 5 pokemon card that only came in promo packs this has always been a fan favorite because it is still a shiny pokemon it has those dark blue rings around the ears that's why you can tell that it's a shiny umbreon this one under $20, you gotta get this one. Next, we got this Mew EX, which really hasn't seen a whole lot of price movement over the past few years. It looks like it's gone from around like four and a half to five dollars, all the way down around three and a half to four dollars currently. But with Mew EX actually coming back with another version of the Mew EX in Pokemon 151, I don't know what the English set's gonna be named, but it is coming back. And I think this card might just see a little bit more popularity, especially as Celebrations begins to age. For me, I would pick this one up. Next is gonna be the Celebi V Alt Art from Fusion Strike. This card, I think, has maybe gotten overlooked because the Japanese counterpart is still going for over $60, but it was actually a promo for Jet Black Geist, which was in Chilling Rain. It actually was not in Fusion Strike. So this was kind of a weird addition to the Fusion Strike set. I don't think people maybe don't even realize that the card is in this set. So for under $30 right now, and you can see, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. It's been going down uh, for the past six months. Uh, it's really overlooked. I think it's a great buy for an alt art. All right, we got another alt art on the list. This one is from Pokemon Go. I know not everybody loves Pokemon Go, but it is a Mewtwo V alt art. And this card started at over $100 when the set released, and now you can pick it up for under $20. I just, I can't see this card getting any less expensive. Yeah, Pokemon Go is not the greatest set in the world. You got the, you know, the Radiant Charizard, your Blastoise, your Venusaur. That's really about it, plus the Mewtwo V alt art. So this is the top chase card in the whole set. So for under $20, you don't have to open up any Pokemon Go anymore. I would definitely pick this up if you like Mewtwo, if you like alt arts. So there's actually a few cards in Silver Tempest I wouldn't mind picking up, like the Reggie Drago alt art, maybe even the Unknown V alt art. They've actually come down quite a bit recently, but I think the one that stands out to me the most is this Rayquaza VMAX uh, black and gold card. A lot of these black and gold cards are actually really cool. The pull rates were just a little bit more than I guess you, than you would expect, but they're not as crazy as you might think. When we were opening Silver Tempest, in about six boxes of full case, we would get about both of the gold cards so in this one was the rayquaza and the Draladon. one per every three boxes not super crazy especially if silver tempest doesn't get a reprint i think this card could definitely see some increase in value right now it's under four dollars so i mean if you like the black and gold cards if you like rayquaza this is definitely a pickup and now it's time for crown zenith and oh my goodness this pikachu secret rare from the main set is one of the best looking pikachu artworks they've ever come out with in fact the japanese counterpart came from the precious collection and that card is going for an insane amount of money still the fact that you can get this card for under $15 right now absolutely blows my mind. I don't really think there's anything in the Galarian Gallery that's undervalued currently, but this card is absolutely undervalued. I would pick up as many of these as you can, honestly. This is uh, this is way too cheap for this card, especially with how rare it was to pull. I am going to throw in the Radiant Charizard on this list today because it's around $5 currently, and I think that's still way too cheap for this card, especially when the Pokemon Go one is actually going for more than this one. This, I think, is a better artwork. I think people thought that this was kind of a better edition of the Radiant Charizard. They did remake it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people that like the Pokemon Go version, but this one definitely makes it to the list because if you can get this one for five bucks, a shiny Charizard card, definitely go for it. Well, that's it for this episode of Buy It Before I Do. Let us know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for cards in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.